Welcome back to another Aussie Prepper video and today I'm going to show you how to properly seal the ends of your paracord. Now this is proper paracord here. This has got a breaking strain of about just under 300 kilos. It's fairly thin as you can see and see I've cut that and once you start messing with it what happens it just frays like that. So we want to avoid that. And look, there's various ways of doing it. You can just put a match or some heat or a lighter to the end of this and that will do it, but it doesn't give you a really nice finish. So I'm going to show you how I do it right now. Now the best way I've found to cut the paracord, I mean, you can use a knife. Scissors do struggle unless you've got some heavy duty scissors. I find these wire cutters to be really good for cutting it. And just to give you an idea, just to cut a bit off that, so this is what you end up with if you don't, you know, finish the ends off properly. Let's just cut it off, okay? So we'll put that in there. And there we go, we've cut the end off. Now I'll show you how I like to do it, okay? So you pull this back, you pull the outer sheaf back like that to expose the inside of your paracord. Now, what I like to do is I cut a few millimetres off that. Now, and this is how I do it at home. If you're out in the field, it's a whole different story. Just cut it and just seal it or don't even worry about it if it's an emergency. But if I'm doing this to use my paracord as a lanyard on my knife or on my hatchet or something else, this is how I finish it. So you've just pulled that back, you expose a little bit of that, and you cut a few millimetres off. Okay, there you go. I've just cut a bit off that. You can tidy that up a bit more. And then you push the black outer sheath back over there, back over the end of it. So now it's a bit hard to see, but the inner now finishes about there. So if you want, I mean, not that it matters because this is going to get burned off for any second now. So you've got this little bit here now, which is just the black outer and the white inner, you can feel it, it finishes right there. Okay, so that's how I like to do it. Now, some people are a bit worried about burning their fingers here. So you've got that. Hold this back, you get your lighter, and I've just got one of these here, and you put some heat to the end of it. Okay, melt the end. Try not to poke it into the flame. And then we'll just go Now that is the end nicely sealed. If you want to be a little bit more fussy, you can dress it up a little bit with a little bit more heat and make a nice little point of it. Okay, it does not burn your finger. Okay, unless you're really soft. Okay, if doing this burns your finger, maybe you should be doing something else. Okay, there you go. It's all sealed. Me being fussy, I'll dress it up even a little bit more. Put a little bit more heat on there. You can do this as often as you like till you're happy with the end of it, especially if it's going to be a permanent installation on your knife or something else. Okay, there you go. That's the end, all nicely sealed. It's not going to fray. And the inner is now finishing just inside here, and the end is sealed. Okay, so that's it, job done. Now you can cut this to length, whatever length you like, and cut it here to make a short piece and do the same thing there. Okay, here's the use for it. There's my Bear grill survival knife, and here's a lanyard that I've attached to the handle and I've sealed the end of it the same way that I've just shown you how to do it. 
Okay, so there you go. Job done. We'll just save you dropping your knife. And your paracord won't fray. So hopefully this video has helped you a little bit in your prepping. Now, if you enjoyed this video, please do me a favor, give me a big thumbs up. Don't forget to smash the subscribe button for more videos from Aussie Prepper. Thanks for watching and bye for now.